some green plants turns their color into brown or yellow, and the leaves will fall. This is in order to reduce the water loss. The changes in the color of the plant is because of the plant pigments. Let's learn more about plant pigments. Hi, welcome to another episode of Science at Home. I'm Fatin, your resident social distancing scientist from Tedo Penang. Today, we are going to learn about chlorophyll by doing chromatography. What we need are some alcohol, some salt, a transparent cup, a pencil, a dropper, you can also use cotton bud, some filter paper with a hole punch on top of them, pencil and mortar, a pair of scissors, a container and green leaves. Today I use the leaves of the spinach. The first step is cut the plant leaves and put inside the mortar. Apart from the plant leaf, you can use ink such as the ink from marker pen or gel pen. After that, add some salt. Adding salt will help to make the grinding or crushing process to become easier because the salt is coarse. Then, add some alcohol into the mortar. Adding alcohol will help us in extracting out the blood pigments from the cells. Continue to crush until the solution turns green. Measure 2 cm from the bottom and make a line using a pencil. Avoid using pen because pen already have color. Drop the solution to the line by using dropper. You can also use a cotton bud. Pour the alcohol into the transparent cup. The alcohol will act as a running solvent which is a medium for the pigment separation. Poke the pencil into the bowl and place on top of the cup. Observe what happened. During your observation, you will get to see the green color from the plant move upward. And two different colors are separated, bluish green and yellow, which are the primary color that makes green. Chromatography is a technique to separate mixture, in this case separating colors of pigments. Pigments are made from different molecules and they are carried up by alcohol and separated by the filter paper. Plants are green because of the pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll can be found inside a plant cell, specifically inside an organelle called chloroplast. Chloroplast helps the plant to absorb sunlight and allow the plants to do photosynthesis or make their own food. In certain plants, when the sun is too bright, the chlorophyll level will decrease, while another pigment called keratina will increase. So the plant turns brown, yellow or orange, like the maple tree. Keratina can also be found in carrot. Now, let's have a quick recap of what we have learned about plant pigments in this episode and also the previous episode. There are three types of plant pigments. Red color. 